Welcome back to Life is Strange. We're playing episode 3 Chaos Theory. Dana's really hurting over this. Not to be confused with Split Cell 3 Chaos Theory. Let's go talk to Dana for a bit. Chloe will be upset that we're not rushing out, but you know. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Uh... I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. It must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Uh, why was she on so the roof? So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure I'm yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. The people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? <laughs> yeah, we're no, kind of walking around I with a, break from a bag over our shoulder. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Yeah, bad liar, Max. Can we? No, we can't. Uh, so last episode, maybe it was the first episode, we could find a uh, pregnancy test in there, which we didn't look at, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure we didn't, because none of my business. Um... But I was interested, I wanted to see if you could look at it in later episodes. I feel like you could have added some higher textures on that, but oh well. Uh, I guess we're done in here, so let's leave. Ah, uh, fireflies. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Which is why we're gonna walk away from the main hall and look at this bench. Oh, sit. No, I don't need to sit down on a bench. We're good. Let's do, let's do a bit of light jogging and shut the door here, though. You have to see what's oh, behind it's unlocked. It. I hope Samuel isn't around. Hmm. Huh. Nothing here. Let's see, what could we find in here? A toolbox! Nothing but tools. There's gotta be some reason that there, we can go in here, right? Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Uh huh. Girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Uh, we didn't miss anything, right? No, I guess we can check the door. Uh, oh. I find maneuvering the smartphone a bit weird at times. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Mm, well, why not? I think we have, I haven't really gotten a grip about some, s s s Samuel? <laughs> I already forgot his name. Uh, yet, he hasn't been in the game much so far. Okay, well... Okay, let's go meet up Chloe. Hello, Squirrel. Hey, Squirrel. 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 Why is there an arrow if I can't do anything with you? Wait. Oh, there's a totem pole over there. The Tobanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Tobanga. It was a James Bond villain that had a similar name. I can't remember his name. Tatanga? Was that a spawn villain? The most magical insects. 
Burn bright. Principal Wells. Oh, shit. I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we need to... S I'm actually to stealth around the school. Uh, maybe we can sneak through Samuel's little sh shed. Maybe we can open the other door now. Not sure how that would get us to the other side of the building, but you know. It's worth a try. No, I can't do that. Huh. This will be trickier than I thought. Son of a bitch has me trapped. Okay. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Can we tinker with the, you know... There's nothing we can interact with from what I see. We're just gonna have to face the dragon straight on? Guess so. No, can we go into stealth mode here? Which is kinda weird. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed uh. to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get caught. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Oh, so I guess we had to trigger that sequence. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Hmm. This really is a stealth game now. Maybe it is Splinter Silk Chaos Theory. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. I mean, it's got it's got to be something in here. We just haven't found it yet. It's, it probably wasn't activated until we needed to go in here. The game likes to do that, you know, to keep the narrative working, I guess. Um, scarf. Uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. This is just the same stuff we've already looked at, right? There's nothing new here. Nothing new, nothing new. Nothing but tools. Yeah. Nothing here. Yeah, I'm not sure... I don't think this has anything to do with what we're trying... Why aren't we replying at least? We could easily ex explain to Chloe why, why we're having trouble meeting up with her, right? That's just bad style, Max. Not cool. Seriously, though, where the fuck? What are we missing? Sitting on a bench won't help. Can't go back inside, so we're not supposed to give up. Oh wait, wait, what's this? Everywhere oh. I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. Yeah, that's the concept of the game. Sort of. I'm 
I'm not sure what to do. Even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Maybe we need to trigger that cutscene first. Maybe that helps. I still can't see anything to in There's nothing to interact with! It's something above? Can I look at the roof? No? Where? Can I convince the squirrel to chase away the principal? No? The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. I've already seen this. Please don't destroy me. I mean, seriously, what am I missing here? This feels like a classic point-click adventure pixel hunt now. What pixel haven't they clicked on? Okay, girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Yeah, who wears the scarves? Good question. Magazine. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Yeah, we've examined that. Nothing else on this wall? Yes, okay. That wall is clean. This corner is clean. This part is clean. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. This corner is also clean. This corner is clean. There's literally nothing in here we haven't looked at. And there's nothing outside we haven't looked at. What the fuck are we looking for? Oh my god! Is this for real? Broken lamp, totem, squirrel. Park bench. Window. If there was anything, we would have seen the white arrows from like a pretty good distance. Like, there is nothing. Look at the ground? No? It seems I just had to rewind time and literally sneak behind him. I'm stupid. Max the Ninja strikes again. 